Opposite, Wikipedia article audio. In lexical semantics, opposites are words lying in an inherently incompatible binary relationship, like the opposite pairs big, small, long, short, and precede, follow. The notion of incompatibility here refers to the fact that one word in an opposite pair entails that it is not the other pair member. For example, something that is long entails that it is not short. It is referred to as a binary relationship because there are two members in a set of opposites. The relationship between opposites is known as opposition. A member of a pair of opposites can generally be determined by the question what is the opposite of X? The term antonym is commonly taken to be synonymous with opposite, but antonym also has other more restricted meanings. Graded antonyms are word pairs whose meanings are opposite and which lie on a continuous spectrum. Complementary antonyms are word pairs whose meanings are opposite but whose meanings do not lie on a continuous spectrum. Relational antonyms are word pairs where opposite makes sense only in the context of the relationship between the two meanings. These more restricted meanings may not apply in all scholarly contexts, with Lyons defining antonym to mean gradable antonyms and Crystal warns that antonymy and antonym should be regarded with care. General Discussion Antonyms Opposites are simultaneously different and similar in meaning. Typically, they differ in only one dimension of meaning, but are similar in most other respects, including similarity in grammar and positions of semantic abnormality. Additionally, not all words have an opposite. Some words are non-opposable. For example, animal or plant species have no binary opposites, the word platypus therefore has no word that stands in opposition to it. Other words are opposable but have an accidental gap in a given language's lexicon. For example, the word devout lacks a lexical opposite but it is fairly easy to conceptualize a parameter of devoutness where devout lies at the positive pole with a missing member at the negative pole. Opposites of such words can nevertheless sometimes be formed with the prefixes un or non, with varying degrees of naturalness. For example, the word undevout appears in Webster's Dictionary of 1828 while the pattern of non-person could conceivably be extended to non-platypus. Conversely, some words appear to be a prefixed form of an opposite, but the opposite term does not exist, such as inept, which appears to be in plus asterisk ept, such a word is known as an unpaired word. Opposites may be viewed as a special type of incompatibility. Words that are incompatible create the following type of entailment. An example of an incompatible pair of words is cat, dog. This incompatibility is also found in the opposite pairs fast, slow and stationary, moving, as can be seen below. Gradable antonyms Cruz identifies some basic characteristics of opposites. An antonym is one of a pair of words with opposite meanings. Each word in the pair is the antithesis of the other. A word may have more than one antonym. There are three categories of antonyms identified by the nature of the relationship between the opposed meanings. Where the two words have definitions that lie on a continuous spectrum of meaning, they are gradable antonyms. Where the meanings do not lie on a continuous spectrum and the words have no other lexical relationship, they are complementary antonyms. Where the two meanings are opposite only within the context of their relationship, they are relational antonyms. Complementary antonyms A gradable antonym is one of a pair of words with opposite meanings where the two meanings lie on a continuous spectrum. 
Temperature is such a continuous spectrum so hot and cold, two meanings on opposite ends of the spectrum, are gradable antonyms. Other examples include, heavy, light, fat, skinny, dark, light, young, old, early, late, empty, full, dull, interesting. A complementary antonym, sometimes called a binary or contradictory antonym, is one of a pair of words with opposite meanings, where the two meanings do not lie on a continuous spectrum. There is no continuous spectrum between push and pull but they are opposite in meaning and are therefore complementary antonyms. Other examples include, dead, alive, off, on, day, night, exit, entrance, exhale, inhale, occupied, vacant, identical, different. A relational antonym is one of a pair of words with opposite meanings, where opposite makes sense only in the context of the relationship between the two meanings. There is no lexical opposite of teacher, but teacher and pupil are opposite within the context of their relationship. This makes them relational antonyms. Other examples include, husband, wife, doctor, patient, predator, prey, teach, learn, servant, master, come, go, parent, child. Relational antonyms Some planned languages abundantly use such devices to reduce vocabulary multiplication. Esperanto has mal, Damon has curry and newspeak has un. Opposite An autoantonym is a word that can have opposite meanings in different contexts or under separate definitions. Directional opposites Autoantonyms Notes Benarity, Inherentness, Patency Enjoin, Fast, Cleave, Sanction, Stay Bibliography